What's a word that rhymes with skirts? Lay off that poetry, Fuzzy. We got work to do. Look at here, youngster. This masterpiece is for your own good. Look who's giving advice. Wait a minute, I got it. All right, let's get it over with. Quiet. This here's a poem about skirts. <clears throat> There's bad ones and worse ones that flirts. Young fellow, they're poison. It's like letting flies in. To women, I only say, uh, hey, what, what, what's a word that rhymes with flirts? Let me see that a minute, Fuzzy. This is terrible. Pieces around like that. sort of a gal, she could at least stop and have a cup of coffee. Nice looking, too. There you go again. Every time you see a gal, I smell trouble. I did stop that girl. Let's go see. and you won't get hurt. All right, boys, take a look through that stuff. And hurry it up.
I guess so, thanks to you. I'm certainly surprised this old buckboard stayed together. Is there anything we can do to help Miss, uh... Abby Jackson's my name. I'm Cheyenne Davis, and this is Percy Jones, my poetic sidekick. How do you do? How do you do? It looks like you were fixing up for a big feed here. Mm, I was. Let's see if we can't save some of this girl for the lady, Fuzzy. Uh... Well, on, let's get to work. in no time. Whip! Oh. It was nice of you to drive me home. Are you sure? The only thing I remember is a check shirt one of the men wore. Why would they want to hold you up? Well, I haven't the slightest idea. I have a hunch you do. What were they after? It certainly wasn't the food. It was awfully good of you to help me, and I want to thank you. That's all right. May I call on you sometime? Why, yes, I think so. How do we know who them two fellas were on the road this morning? Look, I go anywhere I want to go. What do you think there is to be afraid of, Lamar? Hey, Chet. You know, I still think you're making a mistake. I'm going to go see that girl the first chance I get because I think she's holding something back. Oh, you mean about the trouble we're having here in this town? Yeah. Oh, why don't you... I ain't got room. I got plenty under there now. I... Uh oh. There's the fellow with the checkered shirt. Hey, take it easy. And it's not water pistols them fellows are toting. I want to talk to you fellas about a holdup this morning. What are you going to do if we don't? I figure I'll come after them. away from those guns. get hurt. Now let's join the party. Looks like 
if we can start a hardware store. Take them over to the sheriff's office. You hear what the man said? Move! What's this all about? I have Listen, you know the law, Sheriff. Everybody's got a right to arrest a man if he catches him committing a crime. All right, mister. You're preferring the charges. I suppose you have something to back them up? Don't worry, I have. I'll let you know when the trial comes up. Well, 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 nice work, gentlemen. The law-abiding people of this town owe you a vote of thanks. I'd like to talk to you for a moment. Uh, will you come over to my office? Sure. You're new around here, aren't you? Uh, new enough not to know how to keep out of trouble. Well, the Q. Jones is my name, and he's my pal, uh, Cheyenne Kidd. Well, you seem to be able to take care of yourself pretty well. I don't suppose you'd be interested in a job that might require a little shooting now and then. Shooting? No, 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 no shooting. Yeah, we might. What's the job? Uh, well, I run a few modest enterprises around here. One of them is hauling up supplies from the valley. But I haven't been able to get a wagon through for the last two weeks. Why not? Bandits. Well, with those boys we caught locked up, you won't have any more trouble. Oh, no, it's not as simple as all that. There's more than one outfit working here. What do you want us to do? Ride God on the wagon? How about it? Keep talking. Well, the only trouble is there's been so much shooting lately that I can't get anybody to drive for me. Don't worry about that. Here's the best driver that ever cut the team of horses. Good. Come on at the office and I'll give you all the details. These men that you brought in must be an entirely different outfit. Well, the other gang operates differently. They're big and well organized. Why, they even put out a little underground hand-built newspaper. Uh, B.I.G.I. Vigilante. Vigilante. Mm. <laughs> Can you imagine a bunch of thieves calling themselves the Vigilantes? Yesterday morning, a wagon load of provisions belonging to Price Taylor's concern was waylaid at Elk Creek Crossing. A guard of four men were driven off and driver Jack Peters submitted peaceably. There were no injuries. Where did they get this paper printed? I wish I could find out. Sounds like they're pretty well organized. Organized? Every time I try to bring a shipment in, they find out about it. You boys will probably run into a little trouble. Probably. Come on, Fuzzy, let's go get that wagon. No, sir, I ain't gonna drive a wagon for nobody. Thank <laughs> you. 
What do you got your eyes closed for? Can't open them for five minutes. Oh, so it's you. What a fine guard you turned out to be. The oldest trick in the world, and I fell for it. Yeah, and I'm the fellow they're shooting at. Could you make out who the leader was? Well, he appeared to be a gray-haired fellow with a black hat and wore light doe-skin gloves. Turned off the road and went up that trail. for a cup of coffee, Frank. Afraid I can. I've got to make my rounds. Who are you working for? You think I'd talk to you? What's your game? You might as well tell me I'll find out sooner or later. Stop wasting your breath. Go ahead and get it over with. Get what over with? Go ahead and shoot. Get on your horse. We're going to go see the sheriff. The sheriff? By all means. Let's do it legally. Take that sack with you. Hey, Price! Come on out. Uh, Shy just rode in and he's got company. Took him over to the sheriff's office. I've got another customer for you. As far as I can make out, he's the leader of the gang that held us up. Well, Frank Jackson. So you're the fellow they've been looking for, huh? I'm sorry we let the rest of them get away with your supplies, but at least we got the number one man. Yeah, Frank Jackson. Well, don't worry about the food supplies. I'd be willing to lose a dozen wagon loads in order to capture the leader of that gang. You know, I suspected that man all along. You know, him being sheriff, you'd think he'd done something about it. <laughs> if I couldn't think of a better answer than that, why, I'd quit my job. Now, 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 gentlemen. The main thing is that we've got our man. And I think this calls for a little celebration. Come on, the drinks are on me. I make it, Price. Thanks just the same. Well, have it your own. What do you think, Buzzy? I don't know. 
I don't trust that price fellow, the sheriff, either, but that's no reason why we got to turn down a free drink of bourbon. Stick to business. You hang around here and keep your eyes open. I'm going to ride out and pay Abby Jackson a visit. Oh, so you're going to leave me here to do all the dirty work while you go out and ride gallivanting around with a filly, huh? Man, listen to this. A cow hand ought to stick to what he can do. He shouldn't ought to go trying something new. For a cow. <laughs> you got any old wheels to fix today, ma'am? No, but there's plenty of wood to carry in. teach you to come calling. Sit right over there. Won't you sit down? Did uh, you see anyone else on your way over here? No. Are you expecting someone? Yes, my father. Oh, well, I guess there's no use worrying about it. What are you doing in this part of the country? Oh, just passing through. Oh? Do you pass through here often? Once in a while. What do you and your father do here for a living? What do you do for a living? I didn't mean to... ...about those hold-ups. Was that the only reason you came over? No, but it was a good excuse to see you. Did you know that there was another robbery this morning? Was there? Yes. One of Price Taylor's wagons was held up. Why, you certainly travel fast around here. I should know. I was riding guard on the wagon. Abby! What is it? Where's Dad? Anything I can do? No, thanks. You've done enough as it is. Where are you going? To see my father in jail. I got strangled. <laughs> and when he got back, the sheriff was strangled. I thought I told you not to throw any cigarette butts on the floor. I'm sorry, Sheriff. Sure. You're sorry. I suppose you're being sorry is going to keep the floor clean. Next time, I'm going to get tough. Yes, Sheriff. Sure. Yep. Do you know where he went? Yep. 
Well, aren't you going to tell me where he is? Yep. Well, why don't you... Where is he? In there. I want to see my father. You can't see him, Abby. Dangerous criminal, really, Sheriff. Abby. You better go home and try not to think about it. Hey, you know what I think? I think she don't like you. She's got a good reason. That was her father I arrested this morning. Well, shut my mouth. I want to talk to Jackson. You'll have to get a court order from Judge Meeks before you can do that. Where does the judge live? The last house on the right on the edge of town. But I don't think you'll have any luck. Come on, Fuzzy. having a drink when it happened. Somebody must have slipped him a gun. It's a good thing I didn't go no farther in the saloon. At least I got back in time to get one of them. You shot him? Yeah, he was just starting to make a run for it when I... She was the sheriff. Well, they're three against one and they got their guns. Don't worry, we'll even it up. Come on. It's right up there in them rocks where we can get a good look at the road. They're gonna hunt somebody's follow. Put it away. There's been so many horses along here, it's hard to pick up their trail. Sure, I told you it was hopeless. They could be anywhere but... Big rock. You know, I've been pretty stupid. 
You're telling me. That's what happens when you jump into something without first finding out what it's all about. I wonder why the sheriff lied about shooting Jackson from the doorway. I don't know. Jackson was shot in the back, for one thing. There were powder burns on his clothes, like somebody held a gun right against him. I figure the sheriff got so close to him if he was toting a gun. I don't think the sheriff did. I figure one of the crooks shot Jackson with his own gun. Mm, sounds like good figuring. I'd like to see if Jackson's gun has three shots missing. You suppose it's still in the sheriff's office? It could be. Ever since the fracas, the sheriff's been over the saloon trying to drown the pain from that awful wound he got. <laughs> Let's take it right into town. shots gone. Sure as shooting. That means one of them fellas shot Jackson with his own gun. But how did they get a hold of the gun? I got a hunch the sheriff would know. It was nice of him to get sidetracked over the saloon. Hi. 
Hello, Fuzzy. Beans, a dollar and a half a pound. Well, that's about a nickel a bean. Let's go over to Price Taylor's place and see what this is all Well, thanks to you, that gang of bandits has quieted down. This town is about to go on starvation rations. There'll be a lot of people around here mighty grateful to you boys. Yeah. We noticed that. Yeah, but I don't think the trouble's over, though. How'd you boys like to go on my regular payroll? I don't think so. Why, don't tell me you're afraid. People are in the habit of getting shot around here, and sometimes in the back. Say, tell me, have you the only outfit running supplies into this town? Well, a couple of other fellows have tried it, but they didn't seem to be able to stand the gas. So you have kind of monopoly, huh? No, of course not. Anybody's welcome to try it. But you have the only outfit running, so you can set your own prices, is that right? Well, you know how things are. Costs are high, risks are high, and... Well, I've got to make a little profit somehow, haven't I? Uh-huh. Boys, I've got $20 to come into you for that job you did. Keep it. Glad to help out. Bean. I'm not taking anything from him until we find out a little more. Good morning, Abby. I'm sorry about your father, Abby. Why should you be sorry? You got what you wanted, didn't you? No, that isn't what I wanted. Well, what is it then? I'd like you to tell me what you know about Price Taylor. Dad might have told you a few things, but thanks to you, he won't be talking to anyone. That does it. She won't talk, and that fancy pants won't talk, and nobody in town will even give us a look. I figure we're quit. No, we're not. Go out and rustle up some gunny sacks. So what? You heard what I said. Go on, beat it. I'll meet you back here. That's a little large in the waistline, but I figure we can take it in a little bit. Hold that sack open, Fuzzy. Hey, Jeff and Jennifer, are you buying grub at these prices? Information comes high these days. You ain't kidding. Now try to act like a vigilante. Surprised to see a couple of strangers, but somebody had to do the work. Frank Jackson is dead. Dead? Well, what's to become of us? All of us. Frank was a good man, a great man. But I don't suppose there's any need to tell you that. Well, as a matter of fact, we just joined up. And the vigilantes don't feel much like talking about him. It don't take much to understand that. How long ago did he join the vigilantes? He didn't join them, he started them. He's been leading them ever since them thugs shot him up and tried to run him out of the country. Who did that? Well, nobody could prove nothing because the sheriff's on the other side, but Frank was trying to start a... You what he said? That's right. Now, Frank had got things going. Price wouldn't have been able to squeeze every last cent out of the folks around here. Thanks. Now I'm beginning to see a lot of things. Oh, it's us that owes you the thanks. If it hadn't been for you, vigilantes, we'd have starved. I can understand that. It won't take but a minute to heat a cup of coffee. With
you leave me alone? That's kind No, we'd like to help out. And you can help us out. I don't think so. You can help. We want to use your printing press. Printing press? I don't know what you're talking about. Unless I'm very much mistaken, you and your father put out a little paper called The Vigilante. Makes you think so. I thought maybe that was printer's ink on your fingers. No, of course not. It's just grease from fixing the wagon wheel. Well, what do you know? If I didn't know the little lady didn't have a printing press here, you know what I'd say this was? I'd swear it was a piece of type they use when they're setting up printing. Well, you can take a look around if you want to. There's no printing press. Look, Abby, we think Price Taylor is behind the gang that killed your dad. If you'll help us, we think we can prove it. Supposing I don't believe you. Better show your authority. Well, I... I guess it wouldn't be very nice to resist the law, would it? Worse than that, ma'am. You know, it's a crime to resist the law. Now, just where do you keep this here infernal machine? There's no trap door. We're in business, Fuzzy. We've got to make everybody in this town sit up and take notice. Now get the machine ready. Extra! Big scandal! Read all about it in the vigilante. are known. They include some of our prominent citizens and public officials who have been giving and taking bribes to feather their own nest. Yeah, yeah, I know. I read it. But when are you going to do something about it? Well, I got a hunch Cheyenne is in on it. Now, we can cook up a charge against him easy enough. Now, why don't I take some of the boys and go out and get him? I'll take care of Cheyenne if I have to. You just take your orders from me. Sure, Price. First, I've got to stop that paper. And if you want to continue to be sheriff around here, it's best that you find out where it's coming from. Well, you Boys. Hi, Sheriff. How are you feeling today? Oh, good enough. I see your arm's all right now. You mind if we talk to you alone? Oh, of course not. He was just going. He has lots to do. We've got some news for you, Price. Something you want to know. But first, we'd like to be paid for the job we did for you. Well, of course, if you want to change your mind, uh, you've got it coming to you. This uh, news is going to cost you $14.20 extra. And what are you trying to pull off? You'd give a lot more to know where that newspaper's coming from. This better be right. It's right. The press is in Frank Jackson's cabin underneath a pile of wood. Oh, uh, just a minute. Why the $14.20? To repair debt.
What's that debt you was talking about? We bought for those old people. Oh. <laughs> Sharp. Let me show you how to do it. Bluff and wait for us to print all these facts that we don't have. They won't. If I'm right in my hunch that the sheriff is taking bribes, he'll be worried sick. My money says he'll show up here first. I got it. <laughs> There's a beauty. I got a warrant for your arrest. What's the charge? What are you doing here? What's the charge? Criminal libel and printing malicious lies. Where's your proof? Right here. Hey, don't get yourself all head up. If you want one of these so bad, it'll run yourself off a cop. That's libelous matter, and I order you to hand it over. It ain't not of libelous. I brought it myself. Then you're going to jail, too. Oh, now, Sheriff, it ain't that bad. Why, well, I dedicated this to you. If a guy is afraid to fight, he's just yeller. If he yells when he gets hurt, he's just... Dunk. Let me see that. Ah, uh, not so fast. Here's another one you might like. The guy that shot Frank Jackson in the back. Wasn't very brave now, was he? That yellow rat won't live much longer before he's got to deal with Fuzzy. Not bad, huh? Find any liable, Sheriff? That don't make no difference. I wouldn't do that if I was you. Who's gonna stop me? You might get hasty and do something you'll be sorry for. Yeah, we didn't want you breaking up our property, so we bought this printing press from Abby. So we wouldn't have any more trouble with you, and here's the bill of sale for it. Now get out. Get out. Well, we're on the right track, anyhow. First, they try to make it look legal. Now they send the strong arm boys. We better get ready. They ought to be coming pretty soon if they're coming. You awake, Fuzzy? Yet, yet, yet. Fuzzy, here they are. about two minutes. I don't like it. You stay out here and keep your eyes open. from so many people in such a short time in my life. All right, boys, now you're going to spill a few beans. Yeah, and they're going to cost a dollar and a half a pound.
Who's the sheriff working for? The same. I mean, he's the sheriff. Uh, who do you think he's working for? I'm sorry to have to do this again. <laughs> oh, no, 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 and that goes with the judge and all the rest of them, too. Well, that's all we wanted to hear. We've got to hurry, Fuzz. We'll have to get Taylor before the whole town wakes up and gets in our way. Now, I treat you boys right when you treat me right. But I don't like mistakes. And this time, there aren't going to be any mistakes. Do you get it? Now, we're in luck getting the back. Before we're through, let's get going. The door. Ah! Now don't be bashful, boys. Come on out. You can't pin anything on me. We'll find out. Well, even if what you say is true, you can't make it stick. I'm the law around this part of the country. This is going to make me feel a lot better. Check. Put a gun in his holster. Ain't nobody can say I didn't kill in self-defense. Uh, you're another one of them poor cats that shoot a fellow in the back. Front or back, it makes no difference to me. Set him up, Jake. Count to three. On three, we both fire. One. Two.
whoever's in there is coming out feet first. I think Shy can take care of himself. business this time. <laughs> and uh, next time, remember what I told you about women. <laughs> now, folks, uh, I'd like to dedicate this occasion by reciting a little poem I wrote. Remember what I told you, Fuzzy? As I was about to say before I was so rudely interrupted. I warned you. Quiet. I, uh... Oh, you and your women. <laughs>